Hey guys, it's Spencer with Coolman here Night, and today is Saturday here at Gen Con, which is going to be easily the biggest day of the show for us. And we got a lot of awesome things happening. Uh, we actually have the prototype of Black Plague here with the actual plastics from the upcoming game. We're going to do some demos and show people uh, the game itself and show them off how cool this game is and why it became the biggest uh, board game on Kickstarter. We're also going to be showing off uh, Arcadia Quest Inferno. We did uh, sign-ups at 1.30 and then we're going to do a demo at 2 p.m. So people will get to come by and sign up and try the game out for themselves, get to see all the new mechanics and the new models that we have coming. And of course, the biggest thing that we have going on today is the Immortals Tournament that happens tonight where all of the Dark Age players get together, tough it out, fight it out to see who is the best Dark Age player and the winner gets to be immortalized in their own miniature. Well, the doors are about to open up here, so we got to get back to work, and I hope we get to see you today. Hi, Chuck Wellinger here, and today we are running demos of Zombicide Black Plague, which was our biggest Kickstarter ever, and everybody is coming over, checking out the game, and having a lot of fun with it. Uh, you might have heard about it, it's Zombicide, but in a fantasy medieval setting with heroes and necromancers and zombies, of course. The, we have the final miniatures, we have the final plastic dashboards to show here which they are working very well. People really are enjoying just moving that plastic tracker around, slots for all your cards. Uh, it's really a, a great step forward for, for the game uh, by going back in time into medieval fantasy mayhem. So uh, come check it out. Uh, we have the table going nonstop all day. People having fun. Join us. Hello, everyone. This is Guillermo with Pumino Not right here from the booth. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit about Arcadia Quest Inferno, which is what will be the next installment in the Arcadia Quest universe. So uh, the, difference, the big difference here is that the heroes from the guilds are now fighting against an underlord um, in Inferno. So you have to go down hell, and as you go down, uh, you get to deal with damnation, which is a cool new mechanic that will give you not only access to more powers to weapons and skills, but also may you know uh, come at a price during the game. So uh, other than that, we also have Angels, which are a cool new addition. Uh, those, those start as non-player characters that you may interact with, maybe save, and they may even join your guild. And if you don't save of them, uh, some of them, they may come back and there will be consequences. So this is the um, this is Arcadia Quest Inferno. We'll be running demos here, so look out for me. Uh, we'll be right here, and I hope you guys come play the game and tell me what you think of it. All right. Hello guys, Michael Shaw here, and we are day three at Gen Con. And it is super busy here, it has not slowed down for the past 72 hours. Uh, today though, we have tons of events going on, but tonight we have our Dark Age Immortals Tournament at 6 o'clock. The biggest prize in gaming, the winner is going to work with myself and our design staff and get a model based on themselves. Joining our previous year's winners, such as Jonathan Wojcik, uh, Christopher Hodjowski, and just, it's going to be awesome. We have build and plays going all day. We got people in the hall over there practicing nonstop for the past 72 hours. It's just been hectic here. The tons going on, tons more to come. We are sold out of most of our new releases here. It has been awesome. So for those of you who weren't able to join us here, check back on darkage.com and cool when you're not later in the week and we'll have full coverage of our morals events. Take care, guys. Well, that's a wrap for day three at Gen Con. It has been an absolute blast. People love seeing Black Plague, getting a chance to try out Arcadia Quest Inferno. And it was super awesome to have the guys from the Dice Tower come by play the games and check out all the cool stuff that we have coming out within the next year from Cool Mini or Not. Cool Mini or Not, great minis.